Lady Sherry here from the Effects Giving Crew. How's it going? So this is going to be a Divine Feminine reading for uh, July the 29th until August the 6th. So I'm going to be doing a crystal ball with my cards, but I just wanted to show you a little synchronicity. When I went to cut the deck to put the Masculine's card back in, there is serendipity again. So I had mentioned this card in the Divine Masculine reading. Um, so I'm going to read it for the feminine um, because it's obviously a card that wants to be known. Okay. So the essential meaning. Opportunity um, allied with readiness. The awareness of synchronicity. Luck and good fortune appearing as signs and symbols. A magical alignment of events. Oh my God. Okay. So the oracle message. You've stopped into alignment or sorry, you've stepped into alignment with the greater good, where your dreams and the collective dream resonate in exquisite, exquisite harmony. Now is a time for luck and preparation to meet and create miracles that you could never have planned all by yourself. Keep in mind that you are a channel for providence right now, as a higher energy uses you as a force on behalf of the whole world. Your fortunate your fortune becomes everyone's fortune. Everything you bring into being now will leave a wondrous legacy for others in the future. Your service to the world is being supported at this time. Expect the unexpected and smile, for spirit loves you so very much. Beautiful. Okay, so... put that away so we are going to be doing a crystal ball like I said um, so it's a five by five grid distant past recent past present near future and outcome position uh, then there's going to be four cards four corn cornerstone cards which represent the main energy um, of the reading and then one center card which represents the main message from the universe Okay, so let's begin. So, cornerstone card, um, um, distant past position, Ace of Pentacles. So, this represents a brand new beginning in the 3D reality. It is a gift from the universe. It is the windfall card, abundance. So, there has been a seed that has been planted. And um, so, like I said, it's a new beginning in the 3D The Queen of Pentacles showed up in the Twin Flame reading. Uh, so it could represent an earth sign. Um, now this is you being represented as someone who's very independent, who is, you know, financially um, independent, who, you know, has created this grounded, successful life for herself. She is, um, and she shares her wealth with others. She spreads her seeds for all. So, you know, um, there's an energy of sharing. What you put out, you get back. So it's almost like she's there holding her hand open, offering her love, her support to others. So this is earth energy. So it's groundedness. It's the Mother Earth as well. Um, okay, so next is the Nine of Wands, the Wounded Warrior. So this is feeling like you've been knocked down time and time again, been through many battles, the fire many times, and feeling like you want to give up and walk away. But at the core of you, you have that find, uh, that you know spiritual strength to continue on. So this has been a long, tire, tiring journey for you. Five of Cups. So this is mourning and loss. It's deep pain as a result of, you know, a disconnect. Um, so, you know, you could be protecting your heart subconsciously from this pain. You're the wounded warrior, okay? So you've experienced a loss in the distant past. There was a new beginning, a new start, but then something occurred uh, where you felt that that loss, something left your life, or something didn't work out the way that you expected it to. 
So uh, tears are healing rain. Cornerstone card, Eight of Pentacles. So this is working really hard in the 3D world. It's building up abundance, stability, financial security. Um, so this is really you throwing yourself into work. You know, um, maybe not dealing with that pain, that loss, and instead throwing yourself into meaningless activity. And that's kind of what I was seeing on the masculine side. Um, so the 3D reality is important to the feminine. Uh, but there is something that is draining her emotionally. Okay, so recent past position, 11-11, twin flame connection. So the ma the masculine got the um, four of wands, which is the same card. Uh, he was bringing that into the union. So you both recognize this connection as a twin flame or, you know, soulmate connection. Um, and so, you know, I can see where this reading is going already. <laughs> you know, you met your twin flame, the twin flame left, and you felt disconnected and heartache. Next, the universe card. So this is the final piece of the puzzle being placed. So there was an end of a major cycle in the recent past. So this is a cycle lasting from 20 years even up to a lifetime. Uh, so it's being through all of the stages of evolution, awakening, and arriving at that final moment that, you know, feeling satisfied, completed, and the universe is patting you on the back saying, yes, uh, you've done a great job, and now abundance and, you know, a happy life will be raining down on you. Okay, so you feel that, com you felt that completeness with the, with your masculine. Seven of Cups, ooh, so this card showed up. <clears throat> in the, the near future twice. Okay, so this is a feeling of being lost, not seeing your way clearly, having a lot of choices, not knowing which one to choose, uh, confusion. Okay, so again, that moment of confusion is repeated um, message from the Twin Flame reading. So the Five of Wands is obstacles and challenges. Okay, so you know, that you, you felt perhaps a disconnect which caused you to question everything. Is this real? Is it illusion? You know, and you felt that there were roadblocks put up in front of you. Um, obstacles that you needed to overcome. And, you know, it seems to be in regards to thoughts and your emotions. Two Pentacles change. Um, so recent past, there there is a cycle of change that's completing, and you know it has to do with the connection, has to do with that seed that was planted long ago. That Ace of Pentacles has grown into Two Pentacles. So there is this growth here. You are working hard, um, and. While that your environment changes, you feel unsteady. So the spirit is asking you to be the calm within the storm, the you know bend with the wind, be resilient. Okay, so present moment, the high priest. So this could represent the divine masculine in the 5D, offering his support, saying I'm with you in the 5D, even though I'm not with you in the 3D. Or this could mean that you are really embarking on your spiritual quest, your spiritual purpose, perhaps. Um, you know, uh, helping others to awaken, sharing your wisdom and your knowledge with others. Um, or it could mean that you've met somebody who is helping you on your journey. Like-minded people, perhaps. The Ace of Wands, this was a final outcome uh, for you in the Twin Flame. So this is, you know, a new beginning, uh, starting from zero. It is a spark of inspiration, the Kundalini awakening, the golden thread that connects your consciousness to the source. So it is a, an epiphany, a moment um, in the now where you are seeing this future, or you're having these creative ideas, 
or you know feeling a creative drive um, but you know this is go time go light um, you've been waiting for something to happen it feels like it's that it's happening it's starting so this is the main message from the universe zero point card wow the death card so this was the overall energy for the twin flames so it's a shared energy major transformation going on so this is a death of the ego death of your old identity your old life getting rid of the old so you're being asked to clear out um, any baggage any negative thoughts any um, chains that you might still have connected to you so main message from the universe is to transform you know uh, it's the caterpillar turning into the butterfly so there's a metamorphosis happening at this very moment and spirit is asking you just to allow that that newness that new beginning to come in because it is in line with your spirituality wand is, is um, spirit and the high priest is you know a priest someone who is spiritual someone who has this wisdom to share with others oh my god <laughs> that's freaking hilarious okay so this was your present present moment card for the twin flame reading and here it is in your present moment once again you girls are waiting you're waiting for the return you're waiting for the ships to return you're waiting for your masculine okay so this is what needs to be released this is what needs to transform you need to stop the waiting um, and um, really just trust in destiny okay it's also a reevaluation phase you're seeing where you've went wrong in the past or you're being asked to look at the past and see where you can make changes five of Pentacles okay so this is a disconnect it is a feeling of being left out in the cold feeling like you have no one to turn to to ask for help or uh, it could mean a financial loss um, and it could mean that you need to release yourself from something which could create a, a loss in the material world so you are disconnected in your waiting and source is asking you to transform let go if you need to release something do it okay there's no sense in holding on to something um, that isn't healthy for you okay so near future position boom been working on my cards so they're a little sticky whoa devil okay so you know uh, the masculine got this card and it was kind of like the past position near future uh, so this is a chain a codependent relationship an addiction self-limiting beliefs and it's in your near future so that is what needs to be released um, so yeah the feminine needs to cut that away, whatever it is. Okay, seven of wands is um, never giving up, never surrendering. So knowing your core values and beliefs and expressing those. Um, not ba backing down when you're challenged. It's overcoming, being, you know, feeling successful because you've overcome those obstacles. Um, and this also represents being on the right spiritual path. Okay, so you're getting encouragement from source as well so it's empowerment right it's it expressing yourself against that ego that um, negative thinking pattern or attachments placing too much importance on the material world but I, I feel that you become empowered you feel empowered Wow the wheel of fortune again so Justin Timberlake, but goes around, comes around, karma. It's a completion of a cycle from five to ten years. So your near future position, a cycle of change, will come to an end. So you feel things are scattered, you feel confused, you feel that there are obstacles. You're questioning whether or not this final piece will be placed, but Spirit is saying yes, that that wait is almost over, okay? Um, but it does require effort on your part to release that devil energy and it could just be negative thoughts right feeling like you're not good enough that you don't own up 
uh, that you have nothing to offer, that, um, you know, that feeling of rejection. Okay, so next, Nine of Cups, wish granted. So this is your, <clears throat> your dreams coming true. Everything that you've worked hard for is manifesting in your life. Uh, so this is a feeling of satisfaction, abundance of love, um, just enjoying life. You know, satisfaction in that, you know, the music is great, the wine is great, the food is great. You have friends around, you're enjoying life. So with that wheel, with that release comes your wish granted, that thing that you've been waiting for. Six of Pentacles, the cohabitation card, sharing your life with somebody in the 3D. So this is a giving and receiving. So share, be open. Um, and it could mean, you know, that whatever it is that you release, that Five of Pentacles works out for you. And, you know, it's that prime that prompt of gratitude. What you put out, you get back. Karma, right? And wish granted. So I feel that there is an offer, there's a sharing, maybe a partnership. Uh, but either way, if you're able to release that negative thought or that chain, it will all work out for you. Cornerstone card, final row, star card, wish granted again. Your wishes and dreams are coming true, manifestation. Uh, so it's also a card of healing. Um, yeah, so it's, it's saying that the worst is over and that... Um, you know, it's time to heal and rest. So it's a cornerstone card, which means like once you've transformed, once you've let go of that devil energy and allow that change to occur, that it's just nothing but awesomeness. Okay, eight of cups. This requires you to walk away from something in, you know, a negative, emotionally draining situation. This card showed up for you as well in the near future, but it was in the kind of like past. So it's something that you need to do now. Um, but it, it seems to me that you embark on that in the future. So this is um, a pilgrimage, a journey of self-discovery. Uh, it's not being held back by emotions or anybody or anything. Justice card. Wow. Okay. So if you're able to do that, then justice will come back to you in a good way. It's right below the karma card as well. Uh, so yeah, it's cause and effect, balance. Um, and you are justified. Wow, four of wands. And so it's the twin flame connection. So this is a 3D um, union of the twins uh, living their soul purpose, right? So it could mean marriage, buying a home together, engagement. Okay, so it is your dreams coming true, twin flame. Final cornerstone card, yeah, three wands. <laughs> so I think it was just Sars's way of being goofy and saying, yeah, you kind of made it, you did it, congratulations, you didn't give up, you, um, you know, it's so easy for us to fall back into un unconsciousness if, if things are too painful and you don't want to deal with them. It's easier to stay where you are, right? So I think, like I said, this is encouragement, let go of this and that will really allow that twin flame connection to reignite. All right, so I'm going to pull one card from Call It Baron Reed and I will read that to you the final message from the universe. New life. Wow, the masculine got that last week. So 39. So the essential meaning, birth of new ideas, growth, opportunity, a breath of fresh air, life renewing itself, the oracle message, when spring awakens the world, joy and excitement can be felt around and in your very core, blossoms burst from trees overnight, birds return home and sing their glorious song, and nature is full of promise, miracles beckon us. This is one of those times in your life when new ideas inspire you and new opportunities bring you hope uh, for seeing your dreams come true. Hope, 
seeing your dreams come true. Right, wow. Okay. Um, all is well in your world, and you have the energy you need to feel renewed. Allow your heart to fill with enthusiasm. Let your light shine, for this is a time of good fortune. Oh my God, that's, that's crazy. Good fortune. That's exactly what I see happening in the, the future as a final outcome. Yeah. All right, guys. So I hope you enjoyed this. Um, yeah, I shall see you next week. Peace.